Well, we're in the middle of lawn mowing season. It's mid-June. And let's revisit the Scott's Classic 20-inch reel mower and see if it's everything we hoped it would be. And the answer is, to a most extent, yes. It's a pretty nice unit. <clears throat> um, right now, we don't have any dandelions on the lawn. And you can see the line where I've mowed right there. Um, it doesn't do dandelions at all. So if you have lots of dandelions, probably not best to throw away your rotary mower yet. But if you had just lawn, just grass, and you can mow your lawn all the time, that would be great. Because another thing that I've found uh, when using this unit is you got to keep up on it. you got to keep the lawn mowed because the longer your grass gets, the harder it is to push. It's been a real nice unit so far. What I generally do to the, you know, after I mow, and we've got about 20,000 square feet here, is I just go over with a paper towel and some WD-40 and just wipe down the blades to make sure they're nice and clean. And what I'm noticing, I've probably been using this for about two months now, I guess, mowing about twice a week. Um, I'm starting to get a little dull around the ends here because um, I'm not sure why, but by flipping the unit over, uh, you can get access to the, uh, the cutting edge here. It's actually the shearing action between the blade and this blade, uh, well, I should say the reel and the blade. And uh, so I also make sure this is nice and clean, but it seems like I, I can clip paper real nice within the center area here, but on my little edges here, um, it takes a thicker sheet of paper, I guess, for it to cut, but we're gonna still keep going on that. So we might end up sharpening this thing uh, by the end of the season. Uh, but upkeep for it's real nice. Like I say, I just wipe it down with a, a WD-40 soaked rag and that keeps it nice and clean and lubricated. Um, and you just got to keep an eye on with how tall your grass gets because uh, my grass is probably about a half an inch right now higher uh, than what I'm cutting at and I cut it about two and a quarter inches uh, and there are some spots where it's a little bit thicker and boy she's a little bit harder to push that's for sure. Another thing I noticed about the mower is this handle mechanism. Now, lots of uh, bolts here, bolts here, bolts here. makes it kind of flexible almost to a bad extent. When you're doing a lot of trim mowing of course you're you're pushing it back and forth quite a bit and these will seem a little floppy as they kind of push around and stuff so I might eventually say next year uh, weld those up and make it a solid handle although it might be used to help you know prevent wear and tear on the machine but um, that might be something to look into a few more notes I wanted to put in this video about the real mower um, I mentioned about how uh, you can test to see how well the blade is cutting and you do that with a piece of paper and between the reel and the blade and in theory, if I can hold this paste piece of paper and turn the reel at the same time and hold the camera, um, it should clip it right off, just like a pair of scissors would. Now, see, it didn't that cut that very well, but as I move in, see, it snips it just like scissors. Hopefully, you're getting a little bit of that. Cut that guy's head right off. So, in the center of my blade, it cuts just right. But as I get farther towards the edges, see, I'm not quite shearing it like I should. It's getting a little bit dull towards the edges there. So I don't know if this machine came that way or whether I'm wearing her out or what have you, but I'm sure as we, uh, it's still cutting real fine. So we're gonna uh, uh, just keep it as it is for now. And a mowing tip, tip for you, because you do have to overlap your rows. And I say that because like with a regular mower, you can pretty much follow in your own wheel tracks because uh, the blade of the mower um, is actually round and will come out beyond the wheels. So you can actually kind of just keep in your wheels and you always get it mowed. With a real mower you can't because if you'll notice here, uh, the wheel is up almost you know two inches away from where the cutting edge is. So you have to overlap your rows uh, from where your wheel tracks are. And a very convenient way I found, let me turn around on the mower here, is a sticker on the front here, to believe it or not. If I put the wheel tracks of the row I haven't cut right here around the Scott's name, that leaves me this much extra that will actually, you know, essentially be there to uh, uh, clip whatever I've missed. And then on the other side, uh, anywhere in this green area here, once again, it's about three or four inches on each side there. So just use a sticker as a guide and um, it works pretty good. So you make sure you overlap your rows a little bit so you don't leave any strips of uncut grass. I know in my prior video, I kind of showed you demonstrating cutting grass. I'm going to try to do it now, uh, even though it is kind of thick. It's really neat to watch mow, but I just don't want to give you that standard generic watch me push my real mower type video. But 